My name is Iwan Baan, um, photographer, as you maybe know. I've been working on this project together with Urban Think Tank and Justin McQuirk. And probably many design readers know me from my real architecture photography, but um, this is a little bit of work I've been doing uh, also long before my architectural career, a kind of combination of documentary photography and space. The first time I started working with Urban Think Tank about two and a half years ago, and I was fascinated by the city, Caracas, which you see here in the picture, these uh, slums which literally come out in the city like fingers, these houses which are built on top of each other going into the formal city. Alfredo and Hubert from Urban Think Tank, they uh, told me about this tower, a 45-story office tower in the middle of Caracas, which was never finished. It was just a concrete shell. You see the columns, the floors, it was a completely open floor plan. The developer died, the company went bankrupt in the early 90s and it stood completely empty for many years. And right now it's been completely taken over by about 3,000 people who live inside the tower and literally built between the columns and in this completely open floor space uh, their homes. And it's basically a whole, whole city which they built in there. This is the entrance to their city, the, the one door where in the front on the street they sell uh, little things which they make in, in, the, in the tower themselves. The ground floor which is sort of their public plaza, uh, it's sort of the meeting place where everyone comes together before they walk up because the tower it doesn't have any infrastructure, no uh, elevators, no running water. Right here you see the design they're making uh, themselves. It's a sort of architecture without architects, like one uh, invents the arch, the other one decorates his place with a Popeye and it's a sort of this complete mosaic kind of facade which they made. And if you look from further away here in the city, you see the houses in the outskirts of the city which are built on top of the mountains, literally these houses built on, on top of each other and people walk up the mountains to their house. But you see here right in the middle of the city, it's the second highest building there in Caracas, which stood completely empty and which is now taken over by these 3,000 people. People move in and often they have very little, so the only thing they basically need is something to mark their private space so they pitch a tent, they hang some bed sheets or curtains up and they, that's the way how they mark their own private space and whenever uh, they have a chance they start to build walls, the sort of same walls as you see here in our uh, pavilion and that's the way how they start building uh, inside this concrete shell their own houses. Right here you see, still look over the, the walls sort of to the neighbors, like the walls not, haven't really completed all the way to the ceiling. But once they do, they start to stucco the walls nicely, but sort of until where they can reach. Or if you look uh, over here, you get into all these apartments which people decorate in every different way. Like the one who completely tiled his place. And this woman which we found there on, I think, the 14th floor, she was 97 years old, carried up the tower five years ago, never went down anymore. She lives there with her daughter, her son, and sort of a giant boombox. Uh, I, I, I think she didn't hear anything anymore, but the boombox is sort of right behind her um, head. And there's little shops on every floor, and the shops, they're basically just a hole in the wall. They start to design it with a sort of perfect painted square around it. Or a little factory, the hairdresser. The church is in there. It's actually run by the Pentecostal church. And people start to uh, make all kinds of other services, like the gym there on the 27th floor, looking over the city. Connected to the tower, there's this parking garage, 15-story parking garage. And because the tower doesn't have, uh, didn't have any infrastructure, uh, people started to use the parking garage as a sort of elevator. So you have taxi services driving the whole day up and down, bringing the people to the 15th floor. So they have only to walk 10 floors instead of 25, 35 floors, what they have to do otherwise. And I'm fascinated with this sort of uh, facade uh, which changes at night and has like every uh, person sort of decorates their own place in their own way.
So together with Urban Think Tank, we're making at the moment this book. I've been a photographer and um, am fascinated with these places and how people uh, make a space of their own.